The film starts with a young woman heading towards her father Quan's car. Quan drives her to a clothing store in Knightsbridge, London, where she insists on going inside to quickly pick up a dress while he parks the car. Reluctantly, Quan agrees. As he's parking, a massive explosion erupts, injuring everyone nearby, including Quan. Regaining consciousness, he realizes the explosion originated from the clothing store. The scene shifts to an office, where an employee receives a call about a group claiming to be the authentic IRA taking responsibility for the recent bombings. The employee promptly informs their boss, who instructs the staff to delve into the situation. Meanwhile, a photographer documents the injured victims of the bombing, but deliberately avoids capturing the heart-wrenching scene of Quan cradling his deceased daughter. Cut to the terrorists, watching news coverage of the bombing on TV. A member of the group enters, inquiring about the casualty count. Despite suggestions to relocate, one member opposes, fearing that moving might compromise their concealed identities. The next morning in Belfast, Ireland, a man named Liam wakes up next to his mistress. He's taken aback by messages on his phone about the IRA bombing. To make matters worse, his wife calls. When he answers, she immediately questions his whereabouts. Liam fabricates a story about being in a meeting. Back with Quan, he finds himself in his daughter's untouched room, consumed by an overwhelming sense of loss. He wanders through the room, haunted by memories of his vibrant daughter and the objects she once used. Meanwhile, Liam rushes to a meeting. On his way, a woman calls him to discuss the situation. Liam suggests that one potential solution could be to release political prisoners affiliated with the IRA. After ending the call, Liam addresses the board, insisting that the explosion was not their doing. He reveals that a rogue faction, calling themselves the authentic IRA, has been operating without their knowledge. It becomes clear that Liam and the others in the room are, in fact, members of this IRA group. Liam concludes by ordering a thorough inventory check to trace the bombers. Simultaneously, the counter-terrorist unit, SO-15, begins tracking the bomber, quickly noting down the license plate numbers of vehicles in the vicinity. However, they receive a call about a regular visitor to the building, Quan who has been coming daily since his daughter's death. Commander Bromley personally speaks to Quan about the ongoing investigation. Initially, Quan offers a substantial sum of money in exchange for information about the IRA members. Bromley declines the offer, and Quan departs, expressing gratitude for the conversation. In a subsequent scene, Quan watches an interview with Liam, where he publicly denounces the IRA's involvement in the bombing. While viewing the interview, a female employee from Quan's store enters the room. Observing Quan's desolate state and the room's gloominess, she opens the blinds and encourages Quan to eat. After his interview, Liam's secretary updates him on his upcoming interviews and mentions a call from an Asian man wanting to speak with him. Reluctantly, Liam takes the call. Quan immediately demands to know who killed his daughter. Liam is slightly taken aback by the directness of the question. Quan's inquiry stems from his position as the deputy minister of the IRA. Liam informs Quan that, despite his position, he genuinely doesn't know who is behind the attack. This only intensifies Quan's determination to find his daughter's killers. As a symbolic gesture of moving forward, Quan burns reminders of his past, family photos and news clippings about another daughter's abduction. Seeing this chilling display, the housekeeper decides to look after Quan. However, when she turns away for a moment, Quan disappears without a trace. Quan quickly acquires items he'll need for his quest and disguises his van as a gardening tools vehicle. The housekeeper tracks him down and confronts him, asking if he'll return. Without uttering a word, Quan leaves her behind. Shortly after, Quan heads to Liam's office to confront him directly. Initially, Liam's security guards try to restrain Quan, but Liam instructs them to let him through. In private, Quan presses Liam for names once more. Liam maintains that he doesn't know, leaving Quan unsatisfied. Before departing, Quan constructs a makeshift bomb from bathroom supplies. After he exits the building, the bomb detonates, causing panic and chaos, though no one is seriously hurt. An immediate investigation ensues. Liam receives another call from Quan, demanding names once again. Furious about the bombing, Liam hangs up and contacts his ranger nephew in New York. Meanwhile, Quan rents an apartment nearby and prepares another dangerous device. Two of Liam's men notice an explosive device attached to their car as they attempt to leave a parking lot. They trace its origin back to Quan's apartment and attempt to arrest him. However, Quan skillfully fights them off. In the aftermath, Liam chastises his men for failing to capture one elderly man. Upon his wife's arrival, he instructs her to pack as they are heading to their farm. Liam's nephew arrives from New York, and Liam instructs him to inform Commander Bromley about their actions. 
stressing the need for secrecy to prevent other IRA members from catching wind. In the following scene, Liam arrives at a restaurant where Quan, in his disguised van, is already waiting. Upon entering, Liam greets his mistress with a kiss. Seeing this, Quan captures the moment with a photograph and sends it to Liam, aiming to intimidate him. Meanwhile, Liam's nephew meets with Commander Bromley. Bromley is skeptical of the IRA, but the nephew assures him they have a secret plan to catch the bombers by assigning each group a specific code word. Reluctantly, Bromley agrees to cooperate, but insists on speaking directly with Liam when the time is right. Later, Liam returns to his farm. Unbeknownst to him, Quan has already established a hideout in a nearby forest. That night, Quan infiltrates the farm, planting a bomb and incapacitating two of Liam's men. When the bomb detonates, Liam realizes he underestimated Quan once again and comments that he needs more manpower. His wife informs him that she's going to their daughter's flat in London. Meanwhile, the terrorists plan to bomb a plane devoid of Irish passengers. In a pub, a woman who is also Liam's mistress seduces a man with a laptop. The next day, another explosion occurs near the farm, overturning a car belonging to one of Liam's men. The men assume Quan is hiding in the forest and head there. Upon entering, they fall victim to Quan's clever traps. Quan manages to subdue them, but not without sustaining a shoulder injury from one of Liam's men, forcing him to retreat temporarily. The injured man informs Liam that they need a tracker, suggesting Liam's nephew is the man for the job. The scene shifts to London, where Liam's wife is applying makeup. A knock interrupts her, revealing Liam's nephew at the door. She engages in flirtatious conversation, ultimately seducing him. It becomes clear they've been having a secret affair. However, their intimate moment is interrupted when Liam calls his nephew, summoning him to the farm the next day. The nephew agrees, and after the call, Liam's wife expresses her frustration over Liam, blaming him for her brother's death. In the following scene, we find Quan lost in memories of his past. As he cauterizes his wound to staunch the bleeding, he recalls the harrowing abduction of his daughters by pirates and the subsequent attack on their boat that left him and his wife gravely injured. Meanwhile, Liam receives intel on Quan's background. He discovers that Quan was once a U.S. soldier in Vietnam and is highly skilled and dangerous. Before Liam can delve deeper into this revelation, one of his associates interrupts, criticizing Liam for his perceived softness compared to his revolutionary past. Liam defends his current efforts for peace, which only disappoints his friend further. After his friend departs, Liam calls for his dog, which doesn't respond. As he realizes his gun is missing, Quan emerges, gun in hand. Assuring Liam that his dog is merely asleep, Quan presses him again about his daughter's killers. Liam maintains he doesn't know, prompting Quan to threaten him. Fearing for his life, Liam reveals his secret plan involving the code words. Satisfied, Quan gives Liam 24 hours to catch the bombers. The next day, Liam's mistress disembarks from a double-decker bus moments before it explodes on a bridge, claiming 16 lives. Bromley immediately informs Liam revealing that the bombers never used the code words. Liam promises to take action. Later, Liam learns from one of his men that his wife met with his nephew in London. After spending two hours together, she then met with Liam's friend. Meanwhile, Liam's nephew, having just arrived from London, heads to the forest to confront Quan. In a parallel scene, the terrorists discuss their latest creation, a bomb disguised as a laptop battery. Concurrently, SO-15 identifies one of the terrorists by a burn mark and has footage of him communicating with an IRA member. Bromley urgently contacts Liam, revealing that the informant is Liam's own friend. He warns Liam that they are monitoring the friend via drone and will arrest him if Liam fails to act. Enraged by the betrayal, Liam confronts his friend, demanding the names of the bombers. Frustrated by his friend's reluctance to cooperate, Liam shoots him in the leg. Once he receives the necessary information, including details of his wife's meeting with his nephew, Liam ends his friend's life. Meanwhile, Liam's mistress finishes her rendezvous with the man she seduced in the pub. As he cleans up in the bathroom, she quickly swaps his laptop battery with the bomb, making him an unwitting carrier. In the forest, Liam's nephew tracks down Quan. After a fierce confrontation, Quan emerges victorious. The nephew wakes up tied to a tree where Quan interrogates him about the bomber's names. Having already received the information from his uncle, the nephew willingly shares it with Quan. Satisfied, Quan releases him. The nephew rushes back to Liam to report that Quan let him go. However, Liam has bigger concerns. He confronts his nephew about the affair with his wife and reveals that she provided the bombers with information about the code words. Liam orders his nephew to return to New York after completing one final task. 
Back in London, SO-15 surrounds the building housing the terrorists. However, Quan manages to infiltrate the room disguised as a mechanic. When the bombers discover his rifle, a fierce battle ensues. Quan eliminates all the terrorists single-handedly, sparing only the mistress, before making his escape. So, 15 enters the room to find it in disarray. They forcefully extract information from the surviving mistress about the bomb and immediately alert the airport. Thankfully, the bomb is safely disposed of, preventing a potential catastrophe. Quan becomes a wanted man. Liam receives a call, informing him that while he helped thwart the terrorists, he is now under the direct service of the British government. Meanwhile, Liam's wife is fatally shot by her nephew and lover. As Liam arrives at his hotel, Quan confronts him, forcing Liam to post the incriminating photo of himself kissing his mistress. This action ensures Liam's downfall. Quan returns to his store, where Bromley learns of his reappearance. However, Bromley instructs his men not to arrest Quan as a token of gratitude for his assistance. The film concludes with Quan being warmly greeted by the lady from his store, who joyfully embraces him upon his return. 